Next, we come on to timesheets. So in the timesheets, now this is an interesting bit because there are two ways in which you can actually process timesheets in the software. One way is that you go in and you change the hours and maybe the rates uh, in your business or alternatively you get the client to do it for you. Okay, so if you want the client to do it for you, then you need to set them up as a portal user in the system. So you go to your clients, go to Audi, client portal users. Beforehand, very quickly, I would have needed to have triggered this option here. Client can approve timesheets, save. Then come to my portal users, then we add them. Okay, fill out these three boxes name, email, and of course, which business units they're allowed to process timesheets for. So within the client, if you had different locations where you need to process different timesheets to different people, then you can assign who, who does that in this instance. So, however, Carl, uh, he manages the whole lot. So he sees all the timesheets, regardless of which business unit we've done bookings for. So let's pretend we're Carl. And just log out here so now we play the part as Carl and uh, your client can log in by typing in their username and password as I've done here Carl123 and his password and then they click log in so it's really easy for your client to log into the system and once they've logged in they simply click this view button here this will then display all of the timesheets for the current period okay so um, in this instance the client can simply uh, either approve all the timesheets by ticking the box against each one like this. So for example, Leo uh, worked at Northampton as a warehouse up days. The easy hours he worked, 40.5 hours, fantastic. Alternatively, they can click approve all where it will tick all of the timesheets uh, in one go in that page view. Um, or before they approve, they might need to adjust some of the hours. So they have the option to click the manage hours button here. And um, you can see that uh, they have the ability to either add or remove hours. So for example, if he finished at five o'clock on the Tuesday, click save. And what you'll also notice is that the overtime hours have actually uh, reduced straight away for me there. Um, because Tuesday I made 10 hours, so we're below the magic number of 40 hours for the overtime trigger. Um, so quite easily, you can add hours, you can remove hours, uh, so the client can do that, and you can see it's changing uh, when we've applied that. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it's really simple, so add those back on. Once they've basically done that, they can approve or approve all on an individual basis or all of them. And uh, once that's done, we can then go and look and see what that looks like in Prime Pro. So now I've logged back in as the agency user uh, and let's have a look at our timesheets. So as you can see, the timesheets that Carl has approved are shown here and uh, any of the adjustments that obviously Carl has made uh, has updated um, all my timesheets here too. So really quick and easy for your client to log in and approve timesheets online, thoroughly recommend this feature because it saves you and the client a load of time and hassle compared to the old fashioned way of uh, signing timesheets and emailing attachments. Um, you can of course adjust the timesheets yourself. Um, so if you are still sort of maintaining the timesheet process the old fashioned way, uh, you can either use the manage hours option here where you can remove hours or add hours. Um, or alternatively, you can use what's called the manual override option where this uh, red button appears here. So this allows you to open up the timesheet in this view where you can see the charge rates and the pay rates shown here and the hours against each particular shift line for each day, where indeed you can either change these or add. So if I'm going to add three hours to Monday, uh, then it's as simple as that. You can obviously change the pay rates by adjusting those and the charge rates simultaneously. The only thing is, because this is manual override, you notice that uh, the message at the top, the manage hours painter will no longer be available. This is because you're actually 
uh, not allocating which time frame these hours have been applied. Therefore, any triggers that uh, might um, switch in the system according to which uh, time of day you've set it, uh, they won't work. So in effect, you're manually choosing where the hours go. So let's just save that and view it again. You'll see, you'll see the manage hours disappeared, but you can see those hours have been applied for the Monday. So that is also an easy option. Um, if you needed to edit any of the timesheets that the clients have done, um, you can do that, but do bear in mind that uh, you might need to ask them to log back in and uh, adjust those timesheets. So you can click that and then manage the hours again if you needed to do that. Um, but you'll notice that I've now approved it rather than the client. So this might be an issue if you need to um, get them to do it. Otherwise, they might not pay the invoice. So um, that's pretty much it as far as the uh, approval is concerned. Uh, there's one bit at the bottom to just to note this pink timesheet is actually a late timesheet. So they get carried forward week by week until we've approved it. So that's why uh, this timesheet is a different color to the rest because it's a late timesheet. If this timesheet didn't happen in the end, um, you can click manual override and clear all the hours, click save, and then that will save it as a zero timesheet, which we can then approve and then it will clear it from the system. So really easy to manage those situations as well. So um, once we've finished all of our timesheet approval, um, we're on to the next stage, which is basically consolidation, which will generate our invoices and payroll files from our approved timesheets. The Prime Pro report generator allows us to produce multiple reports via the system. They're all generated in Excel, and this is one of the examples here, the timesheet validation report. The timesheet validation report is a great report for us to double check all our timesheets so that they're all correct prior to actually running our weekly consolidation process. Weekly consolidation effectively closes off the period and puts it to the following week and in so doing it calculates all of our timesheets and invoices obviously for the system as well as the payroll files. So it's really important that we get this uh, correct and spot on prior to actually running that and this report helps us do that. So if there are any uh, incorrect entries in our timesheets, then obviously we can make those amendments prior to doing our consolidation. So as you can see in this report, it gives us everything we need. It shows us the clients, the candidates, where they worked, obviously as what job, and of course, very importantly, the hours inputted and their rates, both pay and charge. And at the bottom, you can see the totals, which gives us a great overall picture of our timesheet data for this particular period for our grand totals to pay, charge, and of course the hours. Another report produced by the Prime Pro report generator is the timesheet export. The timesheet export is an alternative and more traditional method for your client to receive your timesheets via an Excel spreadsheet like this. The software produces this for you in a very simple way and very quickly gives you the information that you need to get your client to approve this timesheet. It shows all the candidates listed with their particular shift descriptions, the charge rates, the weekending date and obviously the hours for each day that they worked with the hours total on the right and the charge total for each person. Then at the bottom here you can see the total hours, total charge and an option for them to sign here. If you notice at the bottom, you've got different tabs for different clients. So these are all the clients that I've exported from Prime Pro here at the bottom. And we can click into each one individually to see the timesheets for our clients to sign. This saves an agency a lot of time and energy having to produce this manually each week when the software can produce it very quickly for you. This concludes our video on timesheets in Prime Pro. I hope it's been helpful and gives you a good overview as to the capabilities of what you can do with the timesheets in the software using all the mechanisms both obviously to do with the client approval online as well as obviously you're managing your timesheets internally yourself as well as providing you with the necessary reporting for you to be able to ensure that everything is accurate and correct. 
In the next video, we'll be going through the consolidation process, which in effect closes off the wheat period as mentioned before. So, thank you for watching.